make your sale edge pipeline edge multi-list ove open lane at auction edge wow check that out man auction edge oh an acv do you know what acv does you need to know you need to know because you need to get their loads and you need to make a relationship hey what's going on ecosystem uh welcome back to tuesday nights live listen who needs car shipping software what do you do with it what do you what does software do? Does it? Does, is that what makes you pick up and deliver? Is that what runs your business? As a matter of fact, if you want to make deals, will meaningful relationships with dealers, auctions, OEMs, POV customers, personally owned vehicles, man, you're going to need some car shipping software. So we're going to talk about that tonight. We're talking about Superflow software. You're going to want to buckle in. It's Tuesday nights live on Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, your host. Welcome back to the show. Joining me on Tuesday nights live on Auto Transport Intel. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying warm, and I hope that you're doing business and that uh, you know, you're finding the loads and that you're able to. You know, I know this is a tough time of year. Um, it's cold. Rates are low. Everybody wants to drive in the south. So if you're if you're finding your territory up north and you're and you're striking it, great man. That's awesome. Please let me know where you are. Please do say hello in the live chat. It's a big part of the show. Let me tell you what's going to go on tonight. Listen, if this is your first time here, I want you to feel welcome. Uh, we just started the show, got the car hauler going. It seems like we have somebody new every time now. So thank you for joining the show. Please do say hello in the live chat. It's a huge part of the show. In a few minutes, I'm going to go into the live chat, say hello. You can already see people in there talking. If you got a question... Um, I had a question on Instagram today, and hopefully you're in the live chat. You'll ask your question. Um, really, I do look forward to people in the live chat helping each other out. So let me know where you're at. Please do say hello. We're going to go into the industry news at the quarter hour. It's 8.03 Central Time. We are live. Anything can happen. Let me know if you can see me and hear me okay. I know I kind of talk fast. I got a lot of stuff I want to say. So I don't want to talk too fast, but I want to talk fast enough. I want to be right in the zone. We're going to go into the information superhighway in about 20 minutes, and that is where I set up tonight's topic. We're talking about car shipping software. You mean like a BOL app or something? Yeah, something like that. We have a lot to talk about, actually, so I'm going to try and keep it moving. Then we're going to go into, we're going to spend 10 minutes with Ty of CTS Business Coaching. We had an interesting phone call with a broker talking about broker business and I mean I see a real correlation the more I talk with brokers about their business challenges I see a correlation with carrier challenges I know shocking right brokers and carriers have something in common who would have thought we're going to go into the Superflow Systems interview with Mark he is the owner of Superflow Systems and we're going to spend a full half hour at the 45 minute mark at 8:45 ish and we're going to spend 30 minutes with him talking about the different parts of his system that makes it a true end-to-end -end solution. You hear these terms, best in the universe, end-to-end, -end, easy peasy. Well, we really have end-to-end -end solution here tonight. I'm not saying it's easy peasy, but I am saying it works. 
we're going to go into a Superflow testimonial. At the uh, one and a quarter hour mark, we're going to have Joe from Easy Auto Ship. He is a user and uh, of Superflow Systems, knows it well. We're going to have him on the show to talk. And we're also going to bring in Nick from Midwest Payment Processing to talk more about how iTruck Pay works. Because if you don't get paid, what's the point, right? Okay, <laughs> a lot happening. So it's 8.05. We need to go into the live chat. I hope you'll stick around. We're going to be right back. Are you completely stressed out from all the calls and the contracts and the verification of loads when nobody answers the phone? Call Murphy Auto Dispatch Services today. Murphy Auto Dispatch Services has over 15 years of experience in the transport industry. We are your office while you are on the road. We book, we verify, and we bill out your loads for you. We have an excellent accounting staff and an even better dispatch team. Give us a call today at 417-273-0021. Or if you want to email me, it's murphyautotransport31 at yahoo.com. Give us a call today. That is Sue. She is a friend of the show. If you have a question about brokering or dispatching, contact Sue. She wants to help. Whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube right now joining me live, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Now it's time to go into the live chat. Uh, first, we got Truckify. Great show tonight, Jay, with Mark at Superflow and Truckify. This is Moosey at Truckify saying hello. Superflow and Truckify have the Q7 full circle auto hauling software in the industry. Currently, lots of automation help drivers efficiency too. Yes, I have the Q7 slide up here. I'm going to be showing that. I think that's in industry news, so you're definitely going to stick around for that. Bill Bad Apples, happy Tuesday, car peoples. Thanks for saying hello, Bill. Really do appreciate it. Actually, I had a question come in this week. And I think we referred it over to you, so thanks for helping out. Listen, if you want to be a part of the ATI community and help out, let me know. Send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. There's no way I can do this alone. Clearly, did you see the expert interview that I shared with, um, I had uh, Derek from Fine Line and John from Larix. I really look for experts in the in the industry. I, you know, I haven't driven, I haven't loaded I've done way too much dispatching and probably too much talking as well. So I need your help. Please help me. Kevin Lesturgeon, Shaw Auto Carriers here. We're a carrier and a broker. There you go. Great, Kevin. That's awesome. And thanks for letting me know that. There's no way for me to remember everything. So thanks for mentioning that. And you know to balance both parts of the business is actually, it's. I think it's more uh, profitable. It helps you stay busy. But it's complicated too and you need some... Uh, some good advice on how to manage two sides of the business. Too many people don't realize that. And if you're a carrier and you broker a load and you don't have a broker's license, it's something you don't want to find that out the hard way. Hey, Jay Mark from Superflow checking in. Looking forward to the show. Thanks for coming on tonight, Mark. This is going to be a great show. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, let's see here. Let's And we got, oh man, $9,000 later, dude. Seriously, that is the way it is, huh? Is this where you find cars? Well, this is where you find software. That's for sure. What's up, Ty Thompson? Thanks for saying hello. Michael Culler, howdy, howdy. What's up, Michael? Carlos Braxton, hello, everyone from ACB Logistics. Thanks for tuning in, Carlos. Oh, yeah, I got my I got my Dispatch Center shirt on. Did you see that? That's very exciting. And I got a Dispatch Center hat up here, too. See that? Oh, very exciting. Thanks for pointing out the merchandise, Jay. Uh, what else? We Oh, I just jumped ahead here. Whoa, there's a lot in here. Hey, that's great. Superflow, looking forward to a good show. I think that's Ashley on the Superflow live chat. Um, Sue, hey, Jay, Ty, Mark, how's everyone doing? What's up, Sue? Thanks for saying hello and being part of the core. Jay is with us. Uh, who else we got with us? Oh, let's, and, and a tranny. <laughs> so, so did tranny, I think tranny got held as inappropriate. Really? That'd be crazy. This is car hauling. Uh, why, Sean? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, what's up, Why, Sean? Thanks for tuning in, man. Really do appreciate your participation. You and Jessica up there in the Northeast saying hello. Uh, let's see. Oh, Deal Team 6. What's up, Deal Team 6? Probably first time, I do believe, in the live chat. So thanks for saying hello. Means a lot. Glad you're with us. Hope, hope we can help. 
Hope is, uh, is not a word. Vince Monroe, Click Transportation from Chicago. Say what's up and stay safe on the road. Yes. Thank you, Vince. Uh, it was a crazy day. We had a, Here in Kansas City, we had a little bit of snow, a little bit of sunshine. I don't know what's going on. Uh, party with Mark at Superflow. Johannes Burgos. Hey, what's up? Hello. Good evening. And thanks for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. Uh, 608 Trucker is here. And who else we got? Oh, Alberto Arcasers. Sweet, dude. Hello. Thanks for saying hello. I love it. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Q7 Audi. What's up? Yvonne Delgado. Hey, what's up, Yvonne from Connecticut? Thanks for joining the show. Means a lot, you guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope, uh, let me know how that, what you thought of that last video, that expert interview. It's doing pretty well. It just came out today at noon. Kalisip the driver. What's up, dude? Awesome. This is a lot of hellos. I really, really means a lot. I really do appreciate it. Let me tell you something. You guys tuning in, it means the world to me. It really does. I promise you. Top Trending, what's up? Hey, Top Trending. Thanks for tuning in, saying hello. I appreciate it. Becca Zella, Chitoro, what's up? Thanks for saying hello. Um, who else we got? Brenda Dornbach. Hey, oh, it's Car Princess from Instagram. All right. Brenda, please do ask your question. Um, it was about CDL. It was a CDL question. I don't think I can, I can't remember it, but it had to do with CDL and something. I think experience, CDL and experience. Um, Alberto Dordix Auto Express from Dallas. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, we, we really do. I hope everybody has a safe travel. Um, wherever you are, if you're whether you're at home, whether you're in your truck, whether you're at a remote location, you're at a Stuckey's, you're in a blizzard, be safe. And I, I hope this information helps you. I only go on Tuesday nights once a week because I know it's a lot of stuff. Jay's got the moonshine. Hey, 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 you know, I realized I went through the whole show last week and I don't think I ever got the ELD Kool-Aid out. So, oh man, here's to your safe travels. That was, somebody somewhere was like, man, that was such a small sip. Well, you know, he needs to share. Hey, I'm getting ready to get in the hot shot. Mike Banya. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. That is so cool. We are coming up on 8.15, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we got a word from Ty. We got his contact information. Look, if you're, if you're looking to connect with OEMs, auctions, and dealers, or you want to make a better relationship with a broker, and you're a carrier with questions, or vice versa, you're definitely not going to want to miss this. Hey guys, Ty, CTS Business Coaching. I connect dealers, auctions, and carriers. If you're a dealer and you're not getting your inventory on the lot in five days ready to sell, you've got a problem. It's called interest. Like I'm telling you something you don't know. Give me a call. I can connect you with an auction and a carrier, and you can get your cars on the lot in five days or less. 417-483-2767. Thanks, and have a great day. And listen, if you are, if you're from freight trucking, I think we got some freight folks in here, whether it's flatbed, reefer. Um, if you have, if you're looking to get from freight into car hauling and you have questions, Ty is perfect to talk to about what, how, what it's going to take to make that transition to get some experience. Uh, let's go into industry news. Okay. And by the way, just so I share this. So tonight's show, this is the Superflow Software Show. By the way, I got I have a few programs running, so hopefully the audio and the video aren't too far off. It's sometimes it's got quite a lag, other times it's fine. It changes from segment to segment. I mean, I don't know what, you know, what is going on. But the reason this is the Superflow Software Show is Superflow Systems and Technologies has several pieces of software that help you get the end-to-end -end package. So you can take it from initial customer lead all the way through taking the order, pick up and deliver on the mobile app, all the way to get paid, get it, giving the right quote. There's a lot to that. There's a lot to that. Does your software do that? By the way, just a question. Okay, let's pull up industry news here. Let's get into the news. All right, so I, you know I love memes, right? Industry news is social media, national news, uh, company product service info, and of course, memes. My car shipping business is fine. Oh, how are those leads doing? 
So then I... Well, we've already got an app. That's a BOL, not a CRM. Well, what's the freaking difference? Only about 90% of the business. Jay, did you make these lady cat memes? Yeah. Uh, well, who else is sick of all these apps? I saw this on Facebook. So this is a good question. You know why you're sick of all these apps? Because they're all so similar, and some don't function well, and some you can't get a hold of support. You're not dealing with professional software. If you're sick of all these apps, it's not professional software. And that is the difference. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about professional software. And if it's not ready, let them know. They want to know. And if you get a problem, let me tell you something. If you if there's any company you have a problem with or a question, send me an email. Autotransportintel at gmail.com. I want to help you get to the bottom of it. On uh, Auto Transport Intel, on Tuesday Night's Live, last quarter, after I came back from Used Car Week, I was talking about the car shipping industry business sectors, OEM, dealer, auction, third party, terminals, shippers, brokers. I'm talking about this stuff tonight. That's why I share this slide. That was a show. You can watch it. It's a long show. Um, but Superflow Software, I'm, I'm taking all those pieces and we're putting it into buckets of software so that you can complete the full cycle transaction no matter what segment of the industry you're dealing with. Now, before we get to car shipping software stuff, Industry news talks about what's going on out there. Did you guys see this? Uh, this guy's, I think he said his fifth wheel was frozen to the ground. Here's a close up. Like it literally took a chunk of earth. That's what's going on out there. Stay safe. It's cold. And, and you know what? This is, if, if you happen to drive a car and you're watching this show, <laughs> I know the chances of that are slim. But think of what the car hauler is dealing with. Give, give them some room. Just, please, just swerve in front of them and go crazy and flip them the bird. Don't do it. Uh, speaking of not right, truck order used. Do you guys know what T-O-N-U is? Now, this is a freight term, but it would be nice if you deadhead 330 miles to pick up a load from Florida to Georgia and it got canceled. Sure would be nice if you could get some kind of payment some kind of truck ordered not used fee i'm just saying uh let's see here 7.7 .7. let's go to eight uh sometimes you have to get crafty when the dealer puts sti okay on the bol but they have a gate not today, not today satan <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny um okay sometimes you've got to share i i blurred this stuff out listen i'm not here to to put a company on blast but if you got 16 negatives in one week yeah yeah we're probably gonna it's probably gonna make industry news on auto transport intel don't be doing that don't don't have 156 negatives all time come on man maybe you maybe you better get some better software uh ziggy says just a little psa the rates will continue to bottom out until those fools that move the freight for less than it costs to run a truck go out of business here's the thing i as long as i've been in auto transport which i'm i don't know approaching a decade now it people have always said that uh whether it's 2007 8 9 2001 1984 there's always going to be, be people picking up freight for cheap the only way to beat the system is to build relationships and customers that will allow you to get a better rate if you're going to eat off the load boards all day well, I don't know what to say. Uh, but even, you know, listen, this is Reindeer saying, Carrier Appreciation Week, we thank you. You know, from time to time, it's good to be reminded that people do care. Um, this was shared by Virginia Transportation. This guy, uh, it was a uh, dealer customer that he had transported to and from a lot, and then he ended up buying a truck from him sometimes there's community it feels good doesn't it speaking of community shag is consulting and training now if you are looking to get information in the freight world reefer flatbed dry van you can go to shag is consulting and training as different uh training sessions this one's february 7th through 9th in florida go to shaggyexpress.com this is congrats to, this was a quality delivery bonus. Again, Virginia. 
I like seeing, you know, it's nice to see recognition and awards for hard work. That's awesome, isn't it? It really is. Uh, Chips Transport. This is an ad. Now, this is from January 2nd, but they were looking for a Class A car hauler. Not sure if that's still happening, but, you know, give it a shot. Chips Transport. What else we got here? Audio videos okay? All right, cool. This is how you get your car shipping news. You watch Auto Transport Intel. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Um, I hit 8,000 subscribers this past, uh, what was that, Sunday, I think? Anyways, pretty happy about it. Shared that on LinkedIn. Got a lot of comments and reactions. Thank you guys so much. Couldn't do it without you. And I'm trying to crank out good content and videos that help the industry. I know it's not the clickbait that'll tell you how to get rich. But it is news and information that you can truly use. Uh, such as how not to tie down a brand new DHS Ice Ford Explorer. You okay? Right? Um, how about, oh yeah, this was shared by Clarksville Police Department. We got another flip. We got another flip. Man, bummer, dude. That is a bummer. Uh, so I decided, I was thinking, you know, I, I think I need to start doing the flip of the week. I think we're going to turn that into a meme. What do you guys think of the flip of the week? Will that, will that work? I don't know. That was a weird one too. That's what makes it the flip of the week. It's not as flipped over as the other one. But that's a weird one, right? And unfortunately, it probably, probably was one of those that could have gone either way. Oh, here it is again. What's the best way to track all cars and payments you do every day? Any any app or program? See, there you go. There and, and, and listen, isn't it interesting? That one person is, is saying there's too many apps. Someone else is saying, is there anything to use to track all cars and payments? Clearly, the word is not out. So if you work at a company and you have software you need to tell the folks about, well, the word's not out. Looks like I could help. Uh, just a PSA. Things to do uh, things to do ear transporting a vehicle internationally. Um, for, the, for the folks that want to do it themselves and haven't figured out what a broker does, okay, here we go. Here's your checklist of how to ship an international vehicle. All right. Check whether the car transportation company you agree to use is filed with domestic auto transport. Verify the car transporter has the most recent shipload insurance. Uh, then verify with the Federal Maritime Commission if the shipper is listed with the FMC. Confirm if this singular vehicle shipping company has a shipping license and a current bond. The firm is not registered there. Uh, always bypass using private car shipping firms for foreign car shipping. Um, hmm, interesting. Before committing to sending your, anyways, yeah, doing this without a broker, that's gonna, that, 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 that's what they call easy peasy. Actually, I, um, wow, thank you, Thomas. That's super nice, man. I really appreciate that. Um, what I can do, I just saw this, um, I just saw it today on YouTube that I can pin comments. But let's, I, I appreciate, man, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas, for, um, for absorbing the content, appreciating the channel. I, I really, I honestly could use more of that. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing this. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing this show like in a, in a vacuum. And I don't really understand that. Um, there is so much information in the car shipping industry. And it's such a giant industry. I mean, multi-gazillion dollar industry. Anyways, I get off track. Thank you, Thomas. I appreciate that. 64-day journey. I saw this. Now, this is from a sales point of view. But think about what's the journey like for somebody who first begins their uh, uh, introduction to car shipping, right? They realize they need to ship a car, okay? I'm talking about the individual person or maybe, uh, you know, I'm going to go with person. I'm going to go with individual because they just, you know, one day woke up and realized I need to ship a car. And if you could map the journey, all the searches they did, all the companies they looked at on each day and from where, think about the car shipping journey that people go through. The number of people they talk to, they ask their friends, they Google, they and then they get misinformation and another phone call and Really? It's, I bet it's a huge journey. I'd love to see some of that information. And thank you, Ty. 
I really appreciate that, buddy. You, you are too kind. You contribute to the show. You can contribute to the channel. It means a lot, man. Thank you so much. Um, I made this after I came back from used car week, and I'm eating up my time. I got to get to the information super highway. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna move on. But so many changes happening. I I, I can't think of a better time to have a channel about car shipping. Anyways, okay, here's something new. Odessa Simulcast. Now, you guys know that there are digital auctions. But, man, it's like wildfire now. I just read a stat that now many dealers are already buying over half of their cars on live digital auction. And you know why? Look at this. Look at this dashboard. Look at all the stuff that's happening. They, you could be buying several cars at the same time rather than standing in the lane looking at one. I mean... Dozens of cars for guys that really know what they're doing and are good at this. This is what, by the way, this is what ACV is involved in. Digital live auction. You got Auction Edge, digital live auction. Mannheim Express, digital live auction. It's not just a few companies. This is a huge business. Just digital live auction. We are going to talk about auto transport software. Because i tell you what. If the cars are being bought and sold on digital live auction, do you think they want the transporter showing up with a piece of paper and a clipboard? Really? Think again. They do not want that. No, they don't want that. Uh, what they want is a carrier that understands software and many pieces of software that can help throughout the process. Oh, I'll send you the invite here in a second. Yeah, thank you. Remind me again in a few minutes. Um, you've got to understand what the different parts of the software do. I know... Jay, when are you going to talk about staying loaded? Well, I'll tell you what, that's on the load board po portion of Dispatch Center. So we are going to talk about that. This is the Q7. We got the CRM load board driver app um, and the um, CRM load board dispatch dashboard driver mobile app plus the auto quoter so that you can give good, accurate quotes immediately. Because if you can't, that customer is probably gone. Just like if you're looking at a load board and you're seeing loads, Route Scout helps you put a trip together like that. Rather than spending 30 minutes, by the time you got everything perfect, half the loads are already gone. That's terrible. And iTruck Pay helps you get paid faster. Everything I just mentioned is in the uh, Superflow software car shipping system that we're talking about tonight. Uh, if you haven't seen top 12 car hauling load boards do that, <laughs> easy auto ship. They're going to be on the show tonight. I like how they're sending emails with loads. Any company that isn't using email or text to get information to carriers, here's what I say. Here's what I say. To companies in 2020 that want to show that they've got a driver mobile app, it's not enough. Now you have to show how you're going to help carriers stay loaded. There. Uh, you can send me a check because that information is gold right now. I promise you. iTruck Pay is going to be on the show tonight. Uh, oh, Dispatch Center does have their webinar. Check this out. It is scheduled. We're going to talk about it February 5th at 6 o'clock p.m. So you want to get signed up. Mark is going to talk about how you get signed up for the Dispatch Center webinar on Wednesday, February 5th. I think that's my last slide. I actually made it to the end. All right, so it's 829. I'm going to do a really quick uh, auto transport information super highway. It's going to be right after this. You are not going to want to miss that. Transport Auto Quoter is by far the leading auto quoting software on the market and the only auto quoter with a pro version that comes preset with accurate pricing for anywhere in the U.S. So you don't have to worry about it. The best part is that no change with your current software is needed. Just plug TAQ in and start booking jobs. Carriers can easily plug TAQ into their current websites and start making money right away. I bet you're wondering how we do this instantly and accurately 24-7. Well, constant analytics is the key. Our price watch team is constantly monitoring current market conditions, paying close attention to seasonal and quick-moving industry changes. At the end of the day, it takes a lot of time and data to maintain good pricing, time that most of us just don't have on a daily basis. So free yourself up. Using TAQ Pro is really a no-brainer. Save time and money, maximizing your leads and optimizing your online investments. You'll finally be able to sleep well at night knowing that TAQ is on the job selling for you 24-7. 
never missing a potential job. Oh, man, I know. This is a long show. Are you bored yet, though? It's already 8.30. We've been here 30 minutes. There's no way you're bored. Now, you might be overloaded. Uh, I definitely could understand that. But you can't be bored. Oh, maybe you can. I don't know. But anyways, hey, I don't want to bore you any longer. So let's go into the Auto Transport Intel Information Super Highway. Um, all right, what are we doing? So if you go to Google, okay? If you go to Google, you type in auto transport software. Guess what you're going to find? Well, you guys go ahead and scroll down. Oh, there's some uh, auto transport Intel. And you're going to find other auto transport software providers. But here's what's really cool. You're going to see uh, three of my videos. And it's this one I want you to watch. Auto transport software update Q4 2019. Now, this is a one-hour video where I, I lay out the basics of what it is that I'm trying to discuss. Um, this video talks about there are four parts to auto transport software. You've got the CRM, the load board, the dispatch dashboard, and the driver mobile app. And I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, what I did is I reviewed over 30 companies and went through it. Now, here's what's really cool is that there are not that many companies that have all four parts, but Superflow Systems does have all four parts. Part one. Okay, the CRM, when you get a lead, listen, you don't, if you're a carrier and you're eating off load boards, right now you have no idea what I'm talking about because you're not giving quotes and you're not managing customer leads. And that's a mistake because if you really want to build a business, you think any of those fleets are just waiting for somebody else to give them their business? No, they're not. They are looking for customers that they can give quotes to. How do you know how to properly quote a job, whether you're a broker or a carrier or both? Superflow has the tra Transport Auto Quoter, the TAQ. I think you just saw the ad, right? So let's say you give the right quote. Now you're ready to put the lead into your CRM, Customer Relations Management Software, Pro ABD. Now a lot of other people use, there's a couple other software out there that people use, but Pro ABD, this is a great management software and it integrates with the other Superflow Systems technologies, such as Dispatch Center. Now, Dispatch Center, this is the Dispatch Center load board. Don't mind that circle. That's me. That's I, I'm logged in as a demo account. All right, so they have a load board where you can look for loads. And once you get the loads, put them into Route Scout, which nobody has this Route Scout technology. Put the loads in here. Try to build a trip right away. Then put it in your dispatch dashboard. By the way, I'm still inside of Superflow Systems. Whether I got a giving a quote, managing a lead, looking on a load board, doing a route scout in my dashboard, sending it to my mobile app, I'm still inside Superflow. That's what makes Superflow so special. And by the way, once I've delivered it with my mobile app, I'm still in Superflow when I'm dealing with iTruck Pay to get paid faster. If you want to learn about all four parts of that, you can stick around. I do encourage that. But if you got to run, you can sign up for the Dispatch Center webinar happening February 5th at 6 o'clock. All right. That's it, man. I got through that information superhighway fast, bro. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close that window. I am now going to go to the CTS business coaching question of the day. What is the CTS business coaching question of the day? The question is, who needs car shipping software? Now, I know, right? That's, that's actually, now that seems like a ridiculous question, Jay. Because if you're in car shipping business, you need car shipping business software. I know, I'm talking to my little laptop camera. Because what we're getting ready to do is, we're going to go into... Uh, the video meeting, we're going to talk with Ty for 10 minutes. Ty, I think you're here. I think, I think you're here. So please log in and join me here in a minute. And I'm going to be talking to Ty. I want you to guys to stick around. We're going to talk about something that came up today. Superflow Systems is excited to introduce DispatchCenter.com a full service load board for brokers, shippers, carriers, and drivers, featuring integrations with Truckify mobile app and iTruckPay. Use Route Scout technology to build your routes, maximize truck capacity, stay loaded at the highest available revenue with the least amount of driving miles, 
Tell us your lanes. Loadification will alert you to new loads posting in your route. Views instant load notifications sent with BookNow features. Search and book loads directly through the Truckify mobile app. Brokers and shippers post your loads to dispatch center. Give authorized carriers the opportunity to instantly book your loads. Dispatch Center powers the Truckify mobile app, allowing instant load assignment to the driver. Truckify will send inspection reports, geolocated pickup and delivery photos, BOLs, and invoices back to the broker. Brokers, shippers, carriers, and drivers, Dispatch Center, and Truckify have what you need to be more profitable every day. Okay, so we are live. Anything can happen. With any luck, Ty is going to join us here in a second. Oh, and I already got our names on the screen and everything. And I think, man, I, I, oh, no way. It worked, dude. Yes. Yes. I love it when a plan comes together, don't you? Now, I know you can see me and hear me. And I know that in a second you're about to say hello. You're just keeping us in suspense. <laughs> no, it's my computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is? I swear, dude. Uh, Look at your phone. I sent you a screenshot. <laughs> really? What is it like? Yeah. Is it crazy? <clears throat> Just I don't know. One of those I'm things, huh? To your computer guy. How you been, man? Man, I've been pretty good. I uh, I must say that um, no matter what happens during the week, um, on show day, it just you know it's it's kind of like um things start to kind of swirl and form and pretty soon i've got celestial bodies and then i've got a planet and then i've got an atmosphere and then i've got buildings and logistics and suddenly we're live oh. and it's kind of neat so it's awesome it is i was i got to be a little bit of a part of it today i know you did so let's jump into that so what happened today that was kind of neat i i liked that <clears throat> yeah it was cool we got a Cool. You know, you always, and I always appreciate it whenever you take your, blot out the names and the faces and, and put up your messages that you get, because you get a lot. I do. And they're real. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to put anybody on blast. I just, I want to share information. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, because of your show, uh, a nice lady on the east side of the United States said uh, she wanted to do some consulting. She was a broker broker carrier, right? So she had scheduled an appointment, <clears throat> but at the same time, I, I always try to call people if I can a few minutes before or the day before to find out, are we doing this? What do you need? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to take people's money. Right. right. Yeah. Right. It's always better to talk to them first. So anyway, yeah. uh, you had indicated that you wanted to be a part of the phone call because of the broker. Right. Now, right. It wasn't a straight it, up coaching. It This was I'm always interested in broker carrier now. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be doing more of these together. But yeah. <clears throat> so the question is, is why were you interested in this, Jay? Why were you interested in this phone call? Well, it, right, well because essentially, number one, and I said this, I said this, I don't think it was on that phone call, but I said, I think carriers get the microphone a lot more than brokers. And I want to start putting the microphone up to what the brokers have to say. Now, I know many drivers and carriers right there <laughs> are going to disagree with what I said, but and, there, and there's never going to be full agreement. And this is going to be a painful process. Um, I think actually it affects, I know it affects my views. I've seen it, it affects my likes. People do <laughs> not like some of what we're doing here, but this is really important for business. It, well, yeah. Right, we can make a clickbait yeah. show, but that is that's not what this industry needs. <clears throat> right. So as the as the conversation goes, you're interested in it because you think, hey, brokers need that. People, we need to get the message out. What brokers deal with, right? Yes. Something like that. I mean, yeah. brokers are real people doing real business. They are real people. They're in the carrier, right? They, that's what we all. Think. And they're positive <laughs> that they perform a service. Yeah. Yeah. So as we as we talked. I, I heard some things. I don't know about you, but I heard some things and I thought, oh, you know. She had similar problems to a carrier, right? In that oh. not recognizing how to really get, you got to drink upstream. If you're at the end of the line, drinking at the end of the, of the hose, well, you know, you're, you're left with whatever. 
Well, and here's what we're talking about, just for the viewers that are like, what are you guys talking about? Here's what we're talking about. We're talking about relationship yes. in business. Yes. If you want that business and you want to own your business and you want to maybe add a fleet or add a truck and a trailer someday, or I don't know what you want to do. We'll just assume for the sake of this conversation, you're in this because you want to do something later, right? Is that fair? Yeah, you do. You're you're bu- you're seriously building a business, and there's not any midsize or large carrier fleet that doesn't also have a broker side to the business. Right. right. So one of the things my takeaways Even from if today, it's an OEM. Was, and you say this a lot. What's the difference between the carrier and the broker? They both got problems, and I think you're starting to see it better now than you ever have, Amen. which is absolutely relationship. Dealers. That's why I believe in this message so much because it's working on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm, I'm a disciple up at the pulpit. Right. So, I mean, the thing is, here's the deal, man. There, there, there was nothing wrong with the way this phone call was doing business. Nothing wrong at all. Not at all. No, not at all. It just, but it's there harder. is. It's a lot harder. Yeah. So, what, so what were some of the takeaways that you thought might be hard, Jay? Well, here, here's what it, for for the I want to I want to just straight up. If you're a carrier driver, you don't know what Jay and Ty are talking about. I want to help you out. Uh, carriers are looking carriers that look at load boards or are waiting for loads to come to them or on a screen or in their dashboard or a phone call from the dispatcher are in the same position as a broker that is waiting for lead generators to post leads, to send them leads or for the ads to get clicked rather than being proactive and picking up a phone and calling somebody and saying, Hey, this is what I do. Can I help you? Wow. Did you guys hear that? (laughs) That's all you got to do. It's crazy. It's real though, right? And and to yeah. also practice what I preach, I've been going to dealerships and walking in and saying hello and knocking over the danishes and spilling the coffee because I'm nervous. <laughs> but I, I'm like, hey, I'm Jay at Auto Transport Intel. I have a YouTube channel. Don't kick me out. You know, but I want to talk about car shipping. Can we talk about car shipping? Yeah, well, okay, yeah, we can. You got thirty seconds, <laughs> but I'm t- we're I'm talking. Buying. We are now yeah. talking. Yeah. So I-, I guess I guess the the big thing that uh, <clears throat> you're right. The broker deals with the same thing the carrier does. And what I've always said: if you're a carrier and you call me crying about the broker, I'm going to tell you too bad. You can go do exactly what they're doing, and if you want, I can show you how to do it even better. <clears throat> And I know this is, and this is the thing is, that's what, what you just said. It's a tough pill because I want my knee jerk reaction is to disagree with you, right? Oh, has been for how long we've we been buddies. I was a dispatcher. We've had this, I'm we've like, had this debate for how long? Like, how many exactly, years? I'm like, dude, I, dude, I, that's great, Ty, but I got to call this load board. I got to call this load right now. And you got to sit next to me. I was on the phone for an hour trying to get one load. That's a true story. No, one car. One car. <laughs> one car. One not a load. It was one car. It wasn't one hour. It was two. And I think I think it was during that drive, and that was not planned. We just we went down to the Chrome Mafia show in Springfield, and uh, that was a lucky moment. That was one of those moments. It was good. That was. It was weird. It was and I think I was oh, like, what? yeah, you know what? What were you talking about? Calling people. <laughs> so here's where i'm at i'm i'm staying the same if you want to build a business i don't care if you're a carrier or a broker do me a favor go talk to car dealers either at their lot or the auction i can't get into the auction go talk to them at their lot go talk to them easy two easy questions where do you buy cars where do you sell cars <laughs> it's and i mean and then uh, and that's a flood of dialogue. If you're paying attention, and that's the thing is, that's what's fun, is that I believe on Auto Transport Intel, there are already, there's now 120 live shows. You are welcome to dig in the archive, 
Go into the video description and there's time codes. You don't have to watch the whole two hour show. Find the time codes of the sections where you need to beef up on your knowledge, get motivated, go into the dealership and just start throwing out, just start dropping words that I, I said or experts said on the show. One little tip yeah. that you and I have kind of figured out in this coaching deal. If you've got a one ton in a three car trailer or smaller, go to category two that's your used car lot. It's not your Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Audi, Honda. Do your five. Do your five. New car store, used car lot, buy here, pay here, wholesaler, rental car company. There might be more. Those are pretty solid. If you want to know more about what Ty is talking about, there's the email address, ty at ctsbusinesscoaching.com. You can go to ctsbusinesscoaching.com or was it 417-483-2764? Dang, <laughs> I think I've watched the ad too many times. Here's one one more quick thing. Okay. The, today's phone call that kind of, it's still been running in the back of my head, awesome. which is <clears throat> they're paying for leads. And it... Volume is down, paying for leads, not getting a lot of return on the leads, right? Yeah. Is that what you heard? And I'll give you a percentage. I'm going to shock you. Less than 5% of the leads that brokers pay for actually convert into a customer. Less than 5%. Right. And these, what, what we're talking about today is the personally owned vehicle. Yes. P-O-V. The hardest move in auto transport. Hands no, thank down. you. Yeah. No, thank you. There are plenty of people out there that have created an incredible business, reliable. Yeah, and, and you've got the snowbirds and enclosed, and there's all, <clears throat> get with a car collector. There's all kinds of ways to do it right. Yeah. But if you yeah, just. And, and you, you can do it. Here's, here's the thing. You can do it. What we're talking about is used cars. That's all I ever talk about. Right, Jay? Yes. I can connect you with the OEM? Yes. We, oh, I yes. Can. I mean, I can know people, but really, where it's at, how many 2018 used cars? 40 million? And, 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 so, and you, the used car market is way bigger and active than the new car market. So if you're, if you're focused on used and you're new and you're, you're a small company, do not think you're missing out. OEM <laughs> is OEM is no joke. And you need a larger company. You got to have a lot more trucks. It's a whole nother ball of wax. Whole different game. And the amount of whole insurance that they're thinking about, and I mean, it's 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 different. Yeah, it's the yeah. major leagues. Yeah, but really, back to what I call the basics. Seriously, go stop at the used car lot. Ask who buys cars, where do you buy cars, and where do you sell cars? And, and you, another tip, quick tip. You want same answers. So leave that guy's lot, go to the other guy's lot and see if he gives you the same answer as the guy you just left. And if you, and if you, here's, and here's a good one too. I was, when I was at the dealership, here's a couple of good curveballs. A, so what digital live auctions are you using right now? Yeah. How has that one. changed yeah. the way you were doing car shipping right now? This shows that you're, you're paying attention to the changes Whoa. Right? That's like, big, whoa, really? Yeah. This is where Jay and I come together and form the, what did you call it? The double helix? The double helix, man. <laughs> this is where we come together because I'm old school, go meet the customer. Jay's new school, load board, CRM, dashboard, TMS, all those things. I don't even know what half of them are, guys. I'll be honest. I really don't. I let Jay know that kind of stuff because Jay knows that stuff. And I'm telling you, He's right. You do need it. That, but the way, the pace in which things are changing oh is fast. Oh my God. And, <laughs> and that's what's so, that's what's so great about these trade shows I go to. I'm telling you, yeah. I think, I think the trade shows should, man, they should hire me to, to talk about these shows because the amount of information at these shows is ridiculous. You learn so much. All right, listen, Hey Ty, we got to get on with Superflow, buddy. I uh, can't wait. Mark Muzi. Good to see you guys. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Hey, guys, stick around. We're going to be right back with Mark from Superflow. Building, Building an auto, auto transport, transport business, business is, is not, not like, like it used to, used to be. be. 
the click you bake, bake per, per se, se has, has changed. changed. And it's crucial that you have the technologies to change as well. You want true QuickBooks integrations? No problem. You want automatic credit card processing? We got it. You want electronic signatures? That's easy. How about a virtual dispatcher working your COD amounts and refreshing the load boards 24-7 for you? Yeah, that's right. No more, I need to bump this job or that job. It's all so time-consuming. Tell our price bot what to do, and he does it. No questions asked. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sign up today or call now for a free demo. Okay, welcome back to Auto Transport Intel Tuesday Nights Live. What we're about to do now is we're going to go into the Superflow Systems car shipping software portion of the show. I know, I've been here 8.50. It's 8.50. We're just getting started with the main interview. But there is a lot to talk about. And Mark is joining right now. Mark from Superflow Systems will be here in a second while he's joining in. Uh, again, I saw a couple good live chats. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. And by the way, CDL school or just get a trailer, train myself, ratio, that is such a great question for Ty. Hey, Mark, can you see me and hear me? I don't see you, but I think I hear you. No. Um, and while you're doing that, but yeah, no, seriously, ratio, that is such a great question for Ty. And if you email him or call him, He'll spend five minutes with you. Um, no charge where, I mean, he charges for coaching. You know, once you guys establish that you're going to really spend some time and, and go through some soup to nuts business building. I hear you, Jay. But um, I hear you too. Let's see here. We've got. Should be there. Okay. So this one is, oh. is this your phone? Nope. Let's do, let's do that. You can see me, you can hear me? Check, check. Check, check. I just put your phone in the waiting room. <laughs> uh, let's see here, let's do, here, let's do this. Check, check. Check, check. See, now I hear you. But you're taking up two screens. But I got to tell you, I don't really care. Uh, I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't know. But you know what? Let's you do it. You want me to do it again? Nah, let's keep you going. Want me to do it again? Nah, it's kind of cool. It's interesting. And you know what? The main thing. Yeah, sorry about that. Ah, nah, I don't care. Listen, <clears throat> it, 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 we are we're live. Live. We're live, and anything can happen. And. That's actually part of the that's the fun part of the fun of the show and part of the challenge, right? So I see that I see that uh, that right there is my sound. Yeah, I should I should log out and do it again. Yeah, if you want I don't to, know if you have something you want to. Nah, go ahead, do it. I'm going to talk to the audience here for a second. Go ahead, do that. I'll do it again. Yeah, sounds good. Um, yeah, and it looks good here. Thank you, Kimberly. Appreciate you in the live chat, monitoring what's going on. Hey, Matthew's Joke is here. What's up, Matthew? Silver Mint. Hey, what's up, Silver Mint? Thanks for saying hello and tuning in. Um, 608 Trucker, I appreciate that. I really do. That means a lot. I think there's way too much information here. I could totally see, like, signing off and coming back maybe tomorrow and, and watching more. There's there's so much, and I, I, uh, I, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to wear out my welcome. So if you're tuned in, you're spending time, I really do appreciate it. And if you if you see somebody put something in... <laughs> we're going live. If you see somebody put something in the live chat that you think you could help with, because I, I obviously I can't get to all the live chats because um, we're all here together and I'm focused on a specific topic or content or subject. Hey, Gartho Logistics is here. Yeah, we got to get Gary on the show, too. Gary's going to come on the show at some point. Um, Mark, I I got your audio here with me. And if if yep. if you if you join by two windows, I mean, I, I don't care. I really don't. It doesn't matter to me. I don't know why it's doing that. Well, I think we had that happen in a test one time. And um, 
Now, it also, if you call in, did you call in or did you click the link? Yes. Ah, if, um, you, if you call in, I think you're, yeah, that's how you get the audio. So what you want to do is just click the video link. So if you try this, if you, if you hang up and then just click the video link to join the show by video, you might try that. Sean Nelson. I don't Nelson. have a microphone on the computer. That's not the way I've usually done it. Mm, well, or just join by video mm. now. Either way. Uh, Sean Nelson is with us. Hey, what's up, Sean Nelson? Thanks for tuning in and saying hello. Um, oh, there was a comment about, yeah, Shaggy. Yeah, Shaggy is really helpful. Got a great thing going with Shaggy's. We were, I was live at Matt's a year ago in the booth with Shaggy. I don't think we're going to Matt's again this year. There's a couple other shows that I need to focus on. Um, Matt's is not really a big show for business contacts for me, but I do like the show. So I hope to go again next year and I'd like to go, I'd like to go and have a little bit of fun, you know, right? Cause it, when you go to these shows, you want to have fun. I I'm just flying in, doing the networking, flying out. I went to that when I went to used car week in November, I didn't, I was in Vegas. I didn't play one single slot or poker machine. Nothing. I could see him and hear him before he left. Yep. So I'll tell you what, Mark, why don't you join again the way you did, and then we'll just move forward. Stephen F., as a carrier, is there any software to give quotes? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, Stephen, there is. It's called Transport Auto Quoter, and it's by Superflow Systems. We're going to talk more about that. Um, to make sure I'm being profitable, also not overpricing and losing a load. And see, that's a big problem. That is a big problem brokers and carriers have is that you got to come in at the right price as fast as possible. Because if you don't, if either one of those is off, you'll just lose the customer or the deal outright. Or you get the deal and then you're screwed after you go through doing it and then paying for all the expenses and you realize there wasn't any room for profit. Hey, what's up, Stan? Thanks for joining the show, man. I appreciate it. Uh, running down the road, loaded, looking to add to my business, buying a five-car Texas Pride tomorrow. Wow, that is pretty exciting. Well, your timing is good, Sean. If you have any, um, if you want, if you just, if you're looking for another objective source to bounce ideas off of, uh, Ty at CTS Business Coaching. I know I talk about Ty a lot, but Ty really has been instrumental in helping me. Uh, stay in touch with folks, provide information. I'm focused on making the show. Um, I'm just, I'm working on doing this show. Uh, this is what I work on every day. And I don't have time to respond to all the emails or all the phone calls, but I try to. And so Ty really helps me manage those relationships and networks. And by the way, that's one of the things we're talking about is if you are a carrier and you're building out your broker side of the business where you're dealing with building a customer base, you, it, it's going to take more than software. You might need to get another person involved in your company. You might start with a family member or start with somebody who already does it. And maybe you can somehow add them into your business. Or maybe you just you know, create a loose partnership or just become a referral. Um, I was having the Rolodex conversation with a broker. There aren't, there are very few brokers that don't already have a short list of carriers that they talk to all the time that they, that there are carriers that they want to haul their cars. And that's a short list. Trucking with leak is with us. What's up? Trucking with leak. I've been watching your videos, man. I saw, um, I'm trying to say the last video I saw of yours. Um, I want to say you were working on a piece of equipment. Um, I can see the you've got an intro where there's a shot of you. Um, you're getting on a plane and you're talking to us about joining you on your journey in car shipping. Anyways, Trucking with Leak has a good YouTube channel. I recommend um, if you're a driver and you want to see some of you know what's happening boots on the ground to be a car hauler check out trucking with leak leak what do you um what size trailer are you using i i i seem to remember i think you i think you haul a stinger 
but um, maybe you just changed tractors. Anyways, let us know. I'd be interested in finding out more about that. And oh, by the way, Stan, I wanted to find out more about Marketplace. Um, you made my top 12 car hauling load boards video, and I realized while I was making that video that I had some questions for you. So it'd be great to get some information and an update from you, Stan. That'd be great. Um, hey, Candy from Seaport Services with us. What's up, Candy? Welcome back to the show. Thanks for saying hello. Um, what else do we have going on here? So I know we're we're kind of we're eating into our Superflow software time, but that's okay because sometimes I don't get to say hello to the live chat other than that first segment. Weston was here. Hey, what's up, Weston? How you doing, buddy? Um, what else do we? Oh, Joe Buckley's with us. Hey, what's up, Joe Buckley? Hope you're hopefully you're still with us and getting information. And if you listen, if if there's a topic, sure email me with questions. I forget what they were. I have to go. I need to go back and watch my video. If you will, Stan, do me a favor. Go. Will you watch the top twelve? Uh, what is it? Top twelve car hauling load boards video of 2019. Do me a favor. Check that out because I do. I would like to get more marketplace information. Um, Gartho says, ask Mark to hit on multi-users in Superflow. Ask Mark to hit on multi-users in Superflow. Okay, very cool. We'll do that. We'll do that, um, Gary. Rich says, enjoy your channel. Thank you, Rich. That means a lot, man. I, I appreciate it. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a siren and, and a sip of Kool-Aid. Oh, thanks, Jay. Thanks for sipping Kool-Aid for me. Stinger was the company truck. Just started my own authority using a seven car now. Oh, cool, man. Great. That I bet that makes good content. Whenever you go through any kind of business change or new adventure or new equipment or new business process, really any kind of change is great content. Um, whether and even you know, I mean, if it's a DOT stop or a maintenance issue really there is a lot of stuff there's a lot of driver stuff that i i just can't do and that's actually why i look forward to uh drivers that do make videos because that's not that's not exactly what i do here i'm looking at the entire industry as a uh as a business and um that is a specific aspect of the business and some would say the most important part of the business and i'll tell you what i still I really do. I, I want to make it clear that without the carrier, there is no auto transport. I'm going to say it again. Without the carrier, there is no auto transport. And that's why if you go to a trade show and you hear executives talk and you're thinking, oh, yeah, no, they're just busy counting their money. Let me tell you, there are moments where they, too, will say, we need good carriers. We need to keep the good carrier relationships and those are the guys we need to build our business because without good drivers, there is, nothing's getting done. There's no no cars get moved, and that is also why many carriers feel like brokers are cutting in on their business. But I I am gonna say there are many brokers that carriers need in the process to educate the customer and deal with all the stuff that they really don't have time to deal with. It, you, you you know if you're a carrier and you try to take try to take a, a brand new brand new customer that doesn't know anything about the process and they are going to think this is Amazon easy peasy and that it's going to be super cheap and it's going to happen at the at the you know on the clock when they want it around their hair appointment goodness you know how much time it takes to explain that none of that's true it's it's a lot of time and it's it and it's a headache too. And you got to get good at the process. And you got to provide all that information, bring them back down to earth, and retain the sale. It's 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 a special formula. And and so that's the thing. Follow my follow my crappy videos. <laughs> it's hilarious. Six oh eight trucker. What's your what? what you on YouTube? Uh, go to YouTube and put in six oh eight trucker and follow his videos. Come on, man. I'm sure it's good stuff. Lots of content, lots of issues. Yeah, it's true. Uh, 37 degrees in Jacksonville, Florida. Wow, man. 
Ouch, got you beat, though. 19 degrees in Ohio. Well, I'll tell you what, here in Kansas City, man, what are we at here? Let's check it. I think we're at 19 right here. Uh, oh, shoot. I could get a tan. It's 30. <laughs> that's, that's the warmest it's been in days. Michael Collard, do you ever talk with Ashley Tucker? You know, I, I, I talked with Ashley, I think, once in early 2017. I haven't talked to her since. Um, but I know that she, uh, she does a great job, um, promoting the broker side. And, um, so yeah, maybe I should. That's a great idea. Thanks, Michael. I'm sure 37 to Floridian is like the Antarctic. <laughs> Drivers really need to work on their communication skills. It's not easy. Just like if you threw a broker in a truck and said, deliver it, might have the same, uh, same set of challenges just on the opposite side of the, uh, uh what do you call that sand timer thingy nobody calls it that custom wheel horse tractor eric 83 hello everyone and uh sean nelson that's half the problem i run 50 50 direct and broker well yeah but actually that's so that's that's the thing you want to have a mix good job because if you're a hundred percent load board man that's tough man tough Thanks, Joe. I really appreciate it. That means a lot. I can't complain. I wait on all this year, all freaking year. This is what I live for. I wore socks with my flip-flops today. It's 50 in Houston. Man, that's awesome. Uh, 36 degrees here in New Mexico. 21 in Cortland, New York. Um, so, I, I, Mark, I can hear you, but I can't see you. But I think that maybe uh, we might be ready to keep... I'll tell you what. If I share a lot of screenshots... We certainly won't know the difference. I'll tell you what. Let's do that. You ready that could to do be. that? Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm sorry that I don't know why that's not connecting. I think I don't. I don't something's wrong with the um, the connection somehow. It's not. Maybe it's that meeting number. I'm not sure. Well, um, well, it's interesting. And you know what? The uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Yeah, maybe that could be the meeting number. I don't know. Ty was having trouble too. And then, and then when you, and then now, now we've lost your face. Now we only have the audio. <laughs> I know. What's up with that? <laughs> I tell you what. Hey, man. Here, let's do this. I'm gonna start a new meeting. You ready for that? Let's just do it. Let's try. Yep. Let's try one more time. Everybody's been so yep. patient. And cool. Yeah, I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, no, here we go. So I'm going to exit. Here comes a new meeting coming right at you. All right. Okay. I'm ending the meeting. Now, I know you guys can still hear me, so bear with me. I'm starting a new meeting, and I am inviting my friend uh, Mark from Superflow Systems. Let's do this. By the way, did you know there's a dispatch center webinar? On February 5th at 6 p.m., if you want to learn more about Dispatch Center and Superflow, spend one hour with the Superflow gang on February 5th at 6 p.m. Well, thank you, Custom Wheel Horse Tractor. That means a lot. I really do appreciate it. Let me see here. And here's me. Okay, so I'm back on screen, and Mark is going to be with here in a second. Well, this is a live show. Anything can happen. And it looks like, you know, I should start doing telethons because apparently I could just eat up time like crazy. What's the webinar cost? It's free. Thank you for the question. Sure, blame the connection. <laughs> Operator error. Uh, please send a new Zoom link for the 1030 video. Okay, so Nick is on standby. So Nick, uh, it could be... Bo Nick has been pushed. Joe has been pushed. Joe... Shoot for uh, 1030 Eastern. Nick, shoot for 1045 Eastern. And I apologize for that. Um, eight, It's eight inches here. Oh, it's eight degrees. It's eight inches in Maine. Okay, it's not that kind of show. It's eight degrees in Maine. Wow, man. what's That's probably before the wind chill. All right, so we got, um, we've got Mark joining us. Aaron, let's do this, by the way. Oh, here he is. All right, so I've got audio. I still don't have the camera, and that's okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's one of those things. It is weird, though. I know. It is odd. Now, do you now when you hover, 
try this when you hover your menu do you have a start video start join meeting by video button do you have that no really no uh if nothing prompts from browser download and run zoom and, and you're are you calling in or are you clicking the link this is strange clicking the link clicking the link all right like well, i've let's... done the other time uh, just like i've done the other time i know uh... well hey and by the way try this does your does your camera is your camera built in or does it plug in USB? Plugs in. Unplug it and plug it back in. I had a show one time where my microphone went crazy and I all I did was unplugged it and plugged it back in. In fact, that was the Muzi technical glitch that I had. Try it. You never know. Working on it. Yeah. Never know. I know. You gotta, you gotta crawl under the desk and reach around the wall, and then go, you know, call the lady and ring the horse. I know, nothing is easy peasy ever. It's crazy. Where's Brian when I need him? <laughs> yeah, right, Brian. Well, a, a a a an online video meeting is not the same thing as a CRM. It's just not the same. His webcam was made by the lowest bidder. <laughs> See now, no, the, that's not true. Now the audience is having fun. Well, I'll tell you what, and I have a, uh, I have a Logitech webcam HD, and already mine's a few years old. Um, I really need to get a new one. You know what I'd like to get is the, I think it's the Hero Six, and it's a black Hero Six Black GoPro, the GoPro Hero Six Black. That's what I want to get. I heard that's a great camera. Um, well, thank you. Seaport Service. Candy at Seaport Service has a contribution, and I really appreciate that. All right, let's do this. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to go into, we're going to focus on screenshots. All right? Superflow Systems. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> yep. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, so I, I'm not even, I don't even have your, um... Okay. Disconnected from where I had you. Yeah. I can't see your screen. All right, so do this. Leave the meeting, plug back in, rejoin, and whatever we got, we're doing, okay? Yep. Let's do it, man. Um, so do you want me to just call back in or just stay on here and then get connected? I would try to do it through the Internet. The um, that be That's my recommendation, but, you know, it's a crapshoot right now. Try Dude, to I'm join. Sorry. Try to join by video if you can. That's my recommendation. All right, so we're gonna keep going here, man. Yep. We're gonna talk about software. All right, Superflow Systems. Okay, Superflow System software. You, I'm gonna get you refocused here. Check this out. Ten years ago, we were talking about this earlier. And by the way, you want you want to know something, Mark? Is that I know that even if folks are having trouble, you want to help. We had a guy, I had a guy email me Sunday saying, I can't, I don't know what's going on and I need help. And I saw you replied to him on Sunday, didn't you? I did. Because I did. You, um, you stand behind your products and you care about the user. That's why this is such you know a big what, deal. What's cool about the staff that we have, too, that every one of the people who work with us would have done the same thing if they had gotten the email. I believe that. We, we, yeah, we really do have a good staff, great staff. And, and that you know what? And it's interesting you say that because that is part of the foundation of having a great company. It's interesting how... Sometimes we don't realize, well, boy, boy, do we knew, know this. Sometimes we don't realize what we have until we don't have it. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. There's so, a song about that, I think, and that and marriage and something else. And I don't know. So There's having a lot of subjects on that. Well, there are. And having a great team is a big part of the solution. So you've got a great team. I, and now you've got. I appreciate got, my team, and I appreciate them too. And now you've got a full suite of software. You've been working on this forever. 
That's what's so exciting about this. This isn't something new. Mark didn't just start working on this last week. Is this this is no, a, we've, this we've is been a, around for a while. You have. And you have customers yep. for Pro ABD. Let's go into TAQ. Did you see that question about transport auto quoter? Um <laughs> remind me, what was it? Uh <laughs> Ant says there are more systems than cars on the market. Oh, come on, Ants. It just feels that way. And by the way, I want yeah, to say this. Yeah, I think this. it does feel that way because it, it's really, it's it's hard to make a good CRM. Um, and there's not there's not that many. There are some. There's a, a couple. There's some that are hitting the market, but um, there's there's not a lot. There's not a lot. <laughs> well, what I think Ants is talking about is mobile apps because those things are popping out of the woodwork. Right. It feels like that to the drivers because it does. United makes United makes their drive or their drivers use their app. Um, Cars Arrive makes their drivers use their app. Um, ready Auto. Who else am I? Th- ready. Okay. Thank you. You got Ready. So yep. Ready Cars Arrive United Road. Uh, Montway uh, makes M- M- makes them use uh, Ship Cars. Okay. App. So. Uh, Metrogistics, I think, I don't yep. know if, you know, now force is another question. Cause if you work for a company like Supreme, I think you have to use the Supreme app. Um, that, that is, again, that's on the OEM side and but here's the thing, here's the difference. It wouldn't feel this way if all the apps were great. Would it? Because then it wouldn't uh, be. I- I know you got to log in and log out, but if the apps were great, it wouldn't bother you because you just do it. What's an analogy for something where we know we use different software? Listen, I'm on my phone. Here's a good, here's a great example. I'm on my phone. How many apps do I have? 30, 40. I don't know. Right. I got an app for everything from, from music to banking, to web surfing, to communicating, do I have a problem switching from camera to like browser to like cash app? No, but I would if they stunk. Yeah. Am I right? You're right. Okay then. I see you. I can see your. I can see your screen, so I can. I can follow along if you would. Like the TAQ question? No, I apologize. I don't know what that was. Okay, let's go back to it. The TAQ. He was asking. Okay. He was asking if, um, was that Gary asking about multi-users? Yeah, actually hit on that. What is Gary talking about? What's he looking for? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> I think multi-users, um, I, I actually, uh, I'm, I'm not sure in pro ABD, you can have as many users as you want, but you can only have one user logged on at a time and i don't know if if that's what he means or if he if he has uh two systems which i don't think that he does but to to toggle back and forth between the two yeah I was... so I'm, not, I'm not sure you can have as many users as as you want on pro abd uh the taq you can have users use it on the dashboard for taq however you only the admin can make the programming changes if they want to adjust um, their their mileage, bump it up or down, or make an exception for a state. How much? Um, t- only only one user can do that. Okay, so now see, I knew it, man. We got the motor running. Now you're up and running. You're in Superflow mode, and you're talking about your components. Mark, what does Transport Auto Quoter do? Transport Auto Quoter is a tool that gives instant pricing to the broker and right there's the video um it it gives instant pricing on uh, a lot of different platforms you can have it so easy auto joe can can talk about brokers as a broker he he can give a dealership a widget that the dealership could use at their desktop or on their website so their customers could get an instant quote. So once you have an, an instant quote, you're, you're able to convert it to an order. The things that are unique about 
Transport Auto Quote, or TAQ, is that it generates a price. Our goal is to generate a price for what the truck needs today to make the move. Not, we, we do not look at historical pricing to give a price for today. We look at current market conditions and the industry, the swings, the trending of the industry, but we do not look we do not, our prices on TAQ are not generated by historical pricing. It's what the truck needs today to make the move. And what easy I, for the broker. What I love that you Sorry. said, I don't mean to cut you off, but we no, know we know this. If you're a carrier and you call in on a load on call a load on a on a load board and you ask about, you know, you you're negotiating and the and the broker says, "Oh, well, this is what they we move it for all day." They are looking at historical data, not data today, not data that's required, but historical data, and that it's is a terrible. It's a terrible way to. It is. Um, it's a mistake. Get a price for the, what the carrier needs, and it, it, it the, the trending of what that does to the industry is 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 bad. It's just a bad practice. And so, not only does your software give an accurate quote that accounts for all kinds of parameters that are going to add cost to the move, but it does it fast. And what you're saying is that not only can you use this calculator on your desktop to give a great quote, but you can actually add a widget to a website so it can be done automatically by other people. Absolutely. That is absolutely correct. <clears throat> and instant accurate pricing is, and then that gives your customer the ability to stay on on your website and not not venture to Google and they stay on your platform conducting your business exactly where you want. You don't get the bounce where they go somewhere else. Once they get the price, if they like the price and they're ready to facilitate their order, they can just give you the order right then. So now that you've got the lead, you gave the quote, you've got the lead on the hook, now you move them into the CRM, this is where you manage all your leads, your sales funnel. Most auto transport software does not have this. Am I right? Uh, that's correct. It's just a does true not. statement. This is the hard <clears throat> part. Building a sales funnel software, not just a list of phone numbers and email addresses, which can be as complicated as it needs to be, but to manage all the leads with all the notes, and you've got some warm leads, some cold leads, some future leads, some old leads, some recurring business, you need good software to manage all of that in your sales cycle. I imagine that's why too many carriers don't see managing leads as, as even something they can do. This it, uh, for for carriers it's 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 harder um they <clears throat> the thing with uh the carriers is that they their focus needs to be on on their route and the the lanes that they do they don't if they run in the east coast they don't care about quotes that are going to los angeles to dallas it's not their route they don't care and it's so for them, it can be overwhelming if they have a lot of leads that don't pertain to what their business is, and and that is the lane that they do. So we, we do have a solution for that, um, Quotify for Carriers, and that's that's something that we are just getting off the ground, and the carriers that are on Dispatch Center and Truckify, we, we would like them to come to um, TAQ and help us get a route and their pricing in the system and quotify for carriers is a new feature that in pro ABD, when the broker has a quote and he's trying to talk to a customer and the customer wants to know who runs that route that you work with and how much will it be? This system, if the carrier gives us the route at, at their price, and, and there's nothing really 
better than that for what you have going on. Carriers want to be paid. They talk frequently about the low pricing in the industry All the and time. what it's doing to them. They're, it's killing them. This system gives them a perfect opportunity to tell us exactly what do you want for that lane and that route, and we will put it in front of the customer. There's nothing better than that. That's It doesn't get any better for a broker just feeding you orders for your route at your price. I see so many carriers desperate to take some of the power back. This is software that can help them begin that journey back to being in control of what's going on. That is correct. I love that. Uh, yeah. yeah, man, it's great. Okay, that's the CRM. So that's part one. That's and that's all just CRM stuff. Now we go into which is huge. It's a huge area that many software just they they, they can't compete in that area. Now we move I into wanna, yeah. I want to say just to quickly on the CM, CRM part of it okay. is that Pro ABD has a lot of very advanced features to help you manage and to conduct your business. That there, <clears throat> there are a lot of tools to help you as the broker grow and manage your business. Just, and you're talking about leads coming in. Like right now, leads coming in to a broker, and you talked about 5% conversion. Part of the reason that 5% conversion is people are looking today, how much is it going to be if I move my car up from Florida back to Boston where I live? How much will that be? And they want to know today. Our system gives the brokers tools. When somebody says my available date is not until March 15th, you can target back to that customer in emails and text campaigns directly back to that customer on that lead to help you increase your conversion. Right. So, so this isn't just yeah. a garbage in, garbage out, but it allows you to communicate directly with the customer in real time, right? That is correct. I mean, <laughs> and you don't forget about the customer. It's if somebody has a quote that they say, I'm not available to move until March 15th, and it's January 21st, that's off of your radar. There's yeah. how many quotes are you going to get in between totally. that? Our system lets you manage that. That's awesome. And, and, and that's, I'm glad you pointed that out because there are so many aspects that make managing leads so difficult. I know as a dispatcher, if somebody said, hey, can you move this car in 30 days? I didn't have a way to manage that information other than putting a sticky on the calendar. That's what I would do. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I put stickies that, on calendars. That happens. I mean, I didn't know that, what else to do. That still happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a tough way to do business as you grow. Um, yeah. Hey, um, by the way, Candy says, will this work for carriers as easy as brokers? I think the answer is. Uh, yes. Yeah, it will. Yes. Yes, it will. It, the, the, the cool thing about, like, they don't get overwhelmed with things that are not relevant to to their business pick your lane pick your route pick your price let the broker when when they have many customers many 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 customers that they deal with all day long if they just click the button to say run quotify carriers and see which carriers match that route the broker can instantly see who it is and then make the request the request it sends a text message to the carrier there's a booking link right there. It's just a quick question. This is this is the details of, of the move. We have, I'm the broker. I have a move from here, here, and it pays this much, and it's this kind of vehicle. It's operable, and it's on an open carrier. W will you do it at the price that you suggested? And you, if they say yes, it brings up a form. They fill out the estimated pickup, the estimated delivery, and boom, it goes over to the broker. The broker converts it to an order and dispatches it to the carrier. It's very easy. So that leads me into, because you just started to touch upon the fishing pond, which is part of your load board and dispatch center. Correct. It's crazy how many things that 
you 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 took this all this information, all this feedback, all these ideas, and managed it, and then built it into your the portions of your software. This is a this is a lot of stuff. Yeah. So the fishing pond is a way that brokers can ask carriers to help them on loads that they don't yet have the order for, and they haven't posted it to the load boards as an order. So you, <clears throat> the way the system is now, they have to basically trick or to, to say that they're, they actually have an order. On Central's rules, they have to, they have to acknowledge, I have an order. Here's an order. I have a signed contract, and frequently they do not. Give me that Miami. So is, give me that Miami zip code again, by the way. Uh, three three one zero one. Okay, keep going. I'm sorry. I'm doing. I'm doing yeah, my search and, while you're talking. Okay. Uh, so if you do just, uh, I don't know how you're doing that. If you just do, um, oh, dang it. I tried a, to do a search. A state to state. Okay. I don't know why that's. Uh, it's almost like you need to open that up. I don't. I don't know why that's. Well, my demo account has. I think. I, I think I lost some of my. Because you know that's the problem with the demo account is I'm not actually picking up and delivering. But um, I think you. I, th I think you probably your session had expired. I think so. And, I think it. And did. you tried. <laughs> you tried you tried to uh, click something with your ex your session expired and it I'm, uh, I'm I suspect that I'm that's what that was I'm hacking the system but basically and it was really good in that in that video uh in that dispatch center part 2 where we're showing or no it was the first one showing the fishing was, pond yeah. and how you can negotiate that oh. is so amazing dude Yeah so the brokers when they have a quote and and not just a quote, like a new exactly. quote coming in. It's one, it has to be in a status of contacted or that they are going to follow up with the customer. Not just a, a, you can't just blast all your new quotes and see, see what sticks. We want you to have some contact with the customer and some expectation that if a carrier responds to your request, that you have a legitimate chance of converting that to an order. So the, the carrier goes to the fishing pond, looks at, on the left side, he would look at what is posted today. They, they only stay up for 36 hours. After 36 hours, they disappear. They have a choice. The broker could re-list it if they choose to. But as the carrier is looking, he sees something that fits his route, and he can make a request and just give the broker, I will do this load that you have at this price, my estimated pickup is this. My estimated delivery is is this. And go ahead and send me the order. When when it comes back to the broker, the broker sees it that there is a, a request in his dispatch center, and they can convert it to an order. When it converts to an order, it just prompts them to the carrier that made the request, and you just one click of a button, it's dispatched to that carrier. And it goes over to the carriers information in dispatch center and then he manages it so not only is it real-time accurate communication but you're avoiding all of that you're calling phones are ringing you don't have any information you can't get a hold of anybody you don't even know if you know the, the price that you're looking for is even in within the realm of their ability to to dispatch so take away all those unknowns and go to the fishing pond Go to the fishing pond. Yeah, so that. that that's something that uh, the the so right now pro ABD brokers are the ones that can send to the fishing pond. We have APIs for other people that if they have a proprietary CRM or a competing CRM, dispatch center has APIs for them, and they can they can hook in. They can go to the fishing pond. They can go to the load board. It's it doesn't have to be. You have the same ability and the same opportunity as uh, any any other broker. If you have different a different system, you can still use the dispatch center as a tool. That's awesome. And then once you've got loads that you like, you can start using the route scout. We're still inside Superflow, by the way. 
with all of Correct. these modules. That, That's amazing. The one thing that um, is is um, different than the last time. So we have a if you're logged into Route Scout and you so you log in with Route Scout first, and then um, so <clears throat> you're already logged in. So yeah. if so you're on the Truckify you're on the Truckify tab. Yes. So if you go back to uh, Dispatch Center, that there's different places that you can run Route Scout. Here you would oh, take loads that right were here. were from some somewhere else and paste them in, put in your your truck's capacity, um, and then your wow. origin destination. Right. And, I see. And on the other side, on the other side, if you're searching loads in Dispatch Center and oh, that's cool. you, on your results page, from your results page, you can go to the Route Scout tab and it will calculate the, um, the best loads of what has been selected. Then also from that page, you can, you, as the carrier, you can designate how many open spots do you have, two, three, ten. It, it will... It will calculate the number of of vehicles that you want, and it'll build different trips. And you can pick the trip that you want. If there's something in the first trip or the second trip that you like the best, and there's one of the vehicles you want to replace because of size, for instance, you can replace it easily, and um, it'll just recalculate and come back at you. So then once you get, now I'm pulling up the mobile app, once you've got, you got your loads, you used Route Scout to optimize your trip, now you start sending your loads to your Truckify mobile app, we're still inside Superflow, but now you've got your loads to the driver on his mobile app with Truckify, right? Yeah, so, correct. So when, no matter how you make the request, whether you make it to a pro ABD broker or another broker that's in the system, the, the broker accepts the carrier's request. And then the, as, as it's accepted, the carrier signs the terms. And once he signs the terms, it goes over to his Truckify mobile app and then the um, the dashboard for Truckify. He can manage it to which carrier he would like to assign it to, and then um, the driver does his inspection at pickup, sends the bill of lading. The bill of lading is viewable by the broker, and um, uh, so as it comes back into dispatch center, it comes back to the broker's side on on dispatch center, which is pretty cool because he can see um the uh, one of the um on the update for truckify we're getting the fine tuning of the driver's uh location for the brokers and for the customers you can get the true tracking of of the driver as well and not only that but then also there's the the uh the the extension for the load posted on other load boards and you can click on the extension or copy and paste it into your browser i've never heard of this idea it's it, so great exactly man i love that it's so the beautiful so thing about amazing. that is it doesn't matter what system what crm that you're using if you're posting to load boards you can use our extension that load information will go over to dispatch center. It will, for instance, on central, it, there's a, a link, a Truckify booking link that is in front of the order. The driver or dispatcher can copy the link, go to their Truckify dashboard and do an instant booking request. And so on the broker side, on the as the broker has their dispatch center account, they would authorize that. They would authorize carriers, all carriers. One option is to allow all carriers to 
self-dispatch unless that carrier is on that broker's do not use list. If they're on the do not use list, they won't be able to self-book and they would have to uh, contact the broker to if, I wish I had work a, out whatever difference they had. I wish I had a screenshot of that. I don't. I couldn't find one. So I want to I want to move on because we, we, we're going to... The other important yeah, thing... Yeah. The other, just the other important thing with that is, um, is that we do an instant check of the, the carrier's authority. So the brokers are protected. They know the shippers. If they have that instant booking link, we run the carrier's authority as they make the booking request. And we come back with that MC Pro check and we verify it. And you can see in Dispatch Center where the verification happened and that where the date and the time that the carrier's authority was was active. This is uh, yeah that right. MC Pro Check right. That's another feature. MC Pro Check is really cool. It's a great idea. There are so many features. I don't know how you're going to do your webinar in in less than an hour. <laughs> it's timer be, timer. It's going to be a challenge. We have the ELD timer. We have the ELD, oh, the timer. ELD timer. Yeah. We, you know, the, yeah. We we do. We have one, and yeah. we're gonna be safe. We're gonna use that. Yeah. Be safe. It tells you when fries are up, and it also makes sure that you don't drive too long. Um, and when you need to move to the next subject. High truck pay. Now, that's one we haven't... We're going to bring on Nick here in a minute. Uh, I mean, we got Joe, too. I'll tell you what. You know what we're going to do? We're going to bring in... We need to do move on. We, do, we need to move on. I'll tell you what. So, we'll wait on truck pay. We'll bring Nick on yep. and talk about high yep. truck pay. Let's do this. Let's bring in... Um, Let's do, I'm going to stop this share. I'm going to invite Joe. Oh, and I t in fact, I told Joe originally 930. Then I gave him an update of 945. It is 942. So I think we're okay. While I invite Joe, why don't you talk about the Dispatch Center webinar, please? Dispatch Center webinar is available you can there's a link right on dispatchcenter.com as you log into dispatch center there's a, a green button that you can log on to and it is going to be february 5th at 6 p.m eastern standard time and i hope that's a good time we we went back and forth with some of the the time selections and hope that gets rid of uh, people's business day and they can take an hour and uh, join the meeting and with without getting phone calls and being interrupted so i hope hope that works out we're going to discuss um the perspective from the brokers perspective from the carriers and and how all the systems run together so we'll have some live demonstration at the um as we do the webinar and hopefully give some some little tricks to uh, some of the systems and maybe some tools that people didn't know that the system even had. Um, let's do let's do here. I want to show that green button. There's the green button. And that is and, and that that's yeah. not going to be our uh, our our landing website. Uh, that's kind of a landing page that we have. We we know that uh, there is it's a work in process that that part of it that'll be updated soon so, okay, so i told him i'm letting nick oh nick, actually we're running hang on 10 minutes i'm letting nick know i i sent the email invite to joe and i'm letting nick know i st we're running late so we're going to give joe 10 minutes and then we're going to bring nick in okay and i'm sorry we're running sure. late we had some difficult uh some technical difficulties. Hey, Joe is with us. Joe, can you see us and hear us? I can see you. I can hear you. We are good to go on my end. That is awesome. All right. So, because we have Mark by phone, we have Joe at Easy Auto Ship joining us here. And hey, Joe. Joe, how hey, you doing? Mark. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I've been listening to you guys all night. It's, um, there's a lot, a lot of stuff you guys covered that, uh, you know, we talk about every day. So it's, it's nice to hear uh, familiar, familiar ideas, so to say, because, uh, like I said, it's our daily life. So, you know, that's what we talk about. 
in, all the time. In fact, uh, we solidified this today. Um, we're going to give a premiere view of this. This is, we're going to do this show uh, next month. We're going to do, we got Easy Auto Ship coming on Auto Transport Intel um, next month. Isn't that crazy? Can That's you- going to be a fun show. We're really going to dig in on, on the broker side of things and operations. And, uh, you know, the, the industry has changed a lot uh, in the last 20 years, you know, since the broker side really came on. 20s. And uh, it's going to be fun to kind of share our thoughts and, and our views of, uh, of how we think it should be done. And I think a, a lot of people will, will, will see it our way. It, it's time for a change. Well, and I know this is that. Listen, from talking to you, um, we we there are many like-minded folks that really believe in doing the best to serve the customer in this industry without intentionally taking a, a too big of a chunk from somebody else. And we know that the reason we're ta- we're having you on uh, next month is that. There are too many carriers that believe that too many brokers are too big of a problem. And I, as a dispatcher, fell right into that group. I, I believe I, I said effing all the time. I did. I was mad. But I didn't and, understand. I didn't understand. Well, the, the thing is, there's a lot of moving parts in this industry. You know, you got your customer who, like you mentioned before, is expecting an Amazon delivery while... They're getting their hair done at two o'clock. And, and the, the most important part is, is, is setting those expectations and, and edu- educating the customer on how the industry really works. Again, there's a lot of moving parts and you have to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Um, as far as the carriers goes, you know, they're out there, they're busting their hump. They just want to expect that they want to get paid. And for, they move the car. Stuff. They do they the move work the car. to move the car. They move the car. I mean, without them, there's no us. There is nothing. That's that's bottom line. That's bottom line. And, uh, you know, so we just have to, we got to make sure we take care of them. We got to make sure we understand them. Um, And and we're a good buffer between, between them and and the customer. We want them to focus on driving the car, taking care of the car, making sure they're on time, making sure they're good uh, all around basically. And then that's, that's where we come in and kind of, again, be that buffer between the customer and, and the carrier. And you use Superflow software to manage your business to make sure that you're, you're, you're doing it the best you can. Am I right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. ProABD is the, is the CRM that we use. Um, it, it's, it's a very detailed CRM. I, I've been in the auto industry now probably a little over 10 years, I want to say. Um, you know, we're a very hands-on type of company all the way from the top down we're, we're always in it with our with our staff so we we experience abd ourselves and we see what it can do and you know just just looking back we actually talked about this the other day just looking back on how it used to be done without all these tools we can't even imagine how we did it you know i mean you got emails you got texting you got drip campaigns you have the way it, it's just so detailed to keep your things organized and, and, you know, one of the biggest things that we talk about is organization. And, and, and that's half the battle, keeping your leads organized, keeping your orders organized, having a real time, you know, finger on it. What are what's going on with your leads? What's going on with your orders? What's being delivered? Stay in touch with your carriers, seeing where they're at. You know, it really ties everything really good together as a broker. You know, it's a, it's a great, great tool. It's awesome. I'll tell you what, I just I just caught my eye. Here we go. You ready for a curveball, Mark? Sure. Silverman asks, how many brokers and or carriers are using Superflow to date? That's I I, I don't know the total number. Yeah. And as far as carry as far as carriers would carriers would be using Carriers would be using uh, Dispatch Center and um, Truckify, and between Dispatch Center and Truckify, we have oh yeah, you told two, two close. We're close to two thousand. I don't know if we're quite there yet. 
we all the carriers are are not they're not um, in the system per se on for both. So they they have Truckify, and one day when they wake up soon, maybe February first is kind of our goal. When they when they log into Truckify, they will be in the middle of Dispatch Center. So there's going to be Dispatch Center is kind of we're ironing out any kinks that we have, making sure that the flow is is good and things work the way that we want them to. And then we'll, we're going to open it up and there's going to be a lot more activity on there than there, there currently is. So we're, we're taking it a little slow, but that's intentional. And, um, you know, so I think it'll, it'll be different fast, but well, there's, in a week or two. There's your real challenge of the software angle. Let me tell you, having a show where I invite people to come on to the channel and share their good news with technology companies, it's hard because most technology d- developers, program managers, never feel like it's ready to just go live and talk about, right? This is a huge problem. Because it is, it's a work in progress. That's why yeah. support, and then you know, every time you release an update, you got to check some bugs. It's a major challenge. So kudos to you, Mark, for this is Thank your you. third time on this channel in ninety days talking about your software. I know it's a lot. There's a lot going on. We have a lot going on, and it's we we have a a lot of things still that are, are coming forward. So that's, um, we just, some of the things that really, I think that would help everybody in the industry carriers and the, um, the brokers is to have the carriers, everybody who's listening now to sign up for that quotify for carriers and let the brokers try to obtain orders at the price that the carrier needs to make the move. The carrier is telling the broker how much he's going to do it for. You know what? Well, that, that's really the holy grail as a broker is having a, a guaranteed source. Hey, just tell me what you want. I'll go get it for you. You know, drivers right. want to make money, and, and we believe that they should. They should. You know, when you have a, a load board, uh, central dispatch, whatever you want to use, you're basically listing the vehicle and the driver's got to just pick what, what he can get. You know, as a broker, I'd love it for somebody to use Quotify like that. Hey, tell me the lane. Tell me what you charge. I'm going to find a lead that does what you're looking for. And I'm going to just get the money that you need because I'm a just, you know, I'm a great salesman and I'm going to sell that deal. So you make money and I make money. And then everybody's just happy at that point. So, I mean, I mean I'm really looking forward to that Quotify for carriers because it, it's, it really is, it, it's a game changer. It really is, you know, just relying on, hey, let's just throw something on the board. Hopefully we can get this customer's car picked up in a day or two days or five days or whatever the case may be. And you just don't know, you know, you put yourself in that best foot forward, you know, type of mentality, is my price good? Are my locations good? It, it, uh, is everything lined up for it to happen? It should, but you know what? If you have something like Quotify that, you already know, hey, this guy does it. This is what he charges. That phone call just went from one, two, three, four, five follows that you got to do, you, you know, statistically to, to book an order. You just did it in one because you got that guarantee. And that's that's big. That's big in this industry. And that's the thing. Whether you're a carrier, a dispatcher, a broker, any ass shipper, any aspect of this business where you can do less phone calls is a win definitely time is money time is money and, and when you can get what the carrier wants the carrier is happy when you can get what the customer wants they're happy which makes us happy less time less work more money my pocket your pocket everybody wins and that's the goal the real goal of technology is to increase the amount of work you can do in the same amount of time Exactly. Exactly. Efficiency. So if you're mad about too many apps, I say you have an app problem, not a technology helping the business problem. 
because again, I I've, I don't know how many apps I got on my phone, but I never complain about just clicking a different button. I would if the app sucked. Sure. I know that's brutal, but that's where we're at. That's why I say, and I said this, boy, an hour and a half ago or something, is that if you if it's 2020, if you're if you're telling me there's another app to do something basic, that's a problem. I need you to tell me there's an app to help me do something advanced. Because we've got we've already done basic. That was five years ago. I, it, it'd be like saying so. Hey, hey, check this out. I, I, I found a, I found a program that'll let you let you play music. What? I already, yeah, I've already got that. I got like three of those. <laughs> I don't, I don't need to hear another basic idea. But if you could tell me, I, I've got an app that'll let you hear your favorite five bands, and it'll play through every single one of their albums without duplicating a song for the next four hours. Really? Okay, now that sounds advanced. And that's where we're at. And that's why we're talking about Superflow. This is advanced. All the stuff you've got, this is advanced. It, it definitely is. Uh, again, I touched base on, on, on the tools that it just brings uh, to the table. And, and, you know, in today's world, you have people that like to just talk on the phone. You like people that just like to do email that conduct business all day that can't be on the phone. You have your younger crowd that doesn't like to talk on the phone at all. They just want to do through text messages. You know, that's all that's all it is. Yeah. Playing all those apps, right? Yeah. So, you know, they jump from app to app. They like the apps. <laughs> exactly. Um, you ask them if they have too many apps, they'd be like, what are you talking about? I just they wanna, love it. I was on they TikTok. I was on House Party. <laughs> right. Like. So, you know, Superflow, ABD, it, it really just kind of caters to every single type of customer. You know, you, you got your phone, you got your emails, you got your texts, you got you got all of it. So we're hitting them all, you know, different ways, which allows us to to capture a customer that, that normally you wouldn't capture if you just called them or if you just texted them or you just emailed them. It, it's really giving you the best opportunity to be successful at that point as a broker using ABD. Um, and, and again, touching upon the fact that I really do, and, you, and, and by the way, any carrier or driver that thinks that I just bailed on them, I will say to a broker, I encourage carriers to take on the broker component if they're able to. Just like I encourage brokers, go ahead and develop your carrier side. I know that's hard. That's almost, that's not that's not realistic. But my point is this, is that... It, it, is, it is with ABD, Jay. Right. It, it, is. It, it is, though. That's the thing. That's the beauty about That's this. That's awesome, man. A, ABD Boy, allows you me. to Good build... save. ABD allows you to, to create that carrier relationship because it keeps everything organized for you. You know, we have a carrier match system also. This is completely different from quarter foot. A carrier match... Um, system that ABD has, it allows them the same way that we reach out to customers, texting, email. It also reaches out to a carrier who's done that route before and say, hey, we got a load for you that you might be interested in. And they can book it right through there or they can counter offer it. You know, they can say, hey, you know what? I'm a two. And this happened the other day. Kind of funny. Guy calls me up. He says, hey, I got a a, a two car hotshot. I, I can't I have to charge more than what the, the five or the six, uh, you know, a car hauler charges. You know, I have to make what I need to make for a two car hauler. I said, okay, well, what do you need? He told me what he needed. Got back to the customer. This is what it was. You know what I mean? But now he's in our carrier match. So every time we have anything that we need, two car hauler enclosed, boom, he's going to get, he's going to get notified that he's got something on that route and he can book it right away. Just like that. So check this out. We now have with us tonight, one night only. He's been waiting very patiently. Nick from Midwest Payment Processing. Nick, can you can you see us and hear us? Okay. I can see you and I can hear you. Man, yep. thank you so much for sticking around to join us. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. What's uh, going on, Nick? Hey, Joe. What's up? What's going on, man? Good to see you. Good to see you too. So, what's the good news, Nick? What is iTruck Pay 
Well, first, I want to just talk briefly about the Superflow product. For all the brokers out there, if you want to maximize your potential to reach clients, prospects, if you want to streamline your system, uh, receive direct support, automate your process, make your sales process and life better, you really need to sign up on the Superflow team. It's not a hard sell. I brought him it's sooner. Just a, it's just a communication <laughs> type deal. That sounded good, Dick. Well, it's it is. I we work with a lot of brokers that are on the platform, and they're happy. Uh, they're you know they're making money, and what Joe said, time is money. You know, and I, it's funny with all the apps and all that kind of stuff. That was a funny comment, but uh, really, it, just it's simple. Just sign up for Superflow and you will make your life easier and you will make more money. And you'll be able to connect connect the uh, prospects with the carriers extremely easy. So, um, yeah, yeah, rah, yeah. rah. That's, I mean, yeah, that's, rah, a, rah. that's the thing is that because I'm sitting here thinking, well, one way you could feel like there's too many apps is because they're okay. all silos. You know, walled gardens and silos. That was cool in the 90s. But we need things to be able to communicate with other systems now. In fact, there are some companies that are talking about overarching architecture that will help other softwares communicate with other softwares just as an API helps, right? And in Superflow, you have a suite of products. It's like with Adobe. Man, if you're a creator, video, audio, graphics, animation, Adobe has a whole suite of products for whatever you're looking for. That's what Superflow does in auto transport. Yeah, you're exactly right. Now, I, don't, I don't know how much Mark's really talked about the uh, about Brian. Uh, yeah. Who basically is, I mean, the guy's the, the, the Jack Bauer. I mean, he's the smartest guy I've ever met. Super nice guy, and he just makes it all work, and it's a finely tuned machine that will help any broker's business grow. So, um, I truck I'm here. pay. I truck, I truck pay. pay. I truck pay. I truck so pay. There's, two, there's two sides of the uh, the payment industry: uh, the issuing side and the acquiring side. So, I truck pay allows brokers to pay the carriers in a fast, efficient method. Um, so how that works is, uh, you, you know, you have a carrier, let's just say that runs a, a, a route for a, whatever, a thousand dollars. And uh, they need to be paid, obviously, for that for that route. So I truck pay is the facilitator of that payment. Uh, the carrier uh, will receive those funds to their I truck pay account where they can use it uh, as a physical card, they can use it as a mobile app, uh, which is NFC, uh, which is um, Apple Pay. Uh, you know, if they want to just wait, store it in their wallet and use it for a payment uh, for merchandise or whatever, you know, retail. Uh, but then also the beauty of iTruck Pay is for those that uh, that use iTruck Pay, they get a discount at the uh, at Love and Pilot, and it's all. It's all runs on the EFS WEX rails. So you have the power of EFS WEX uh, on your side as a carrier. So you get those, those published discounts at the pump. Um, and then it's our responsibility uh, as iTruck Pay to work with WEX and to work with the, uh, the fuel stations to maximize the discount that the carrier can receive uh, per gallon uh, by using that iTruck uh, MasterCard branded card. So if you look at it this way, as a, car as a carrier, you're getting your funds quick. You're able to use them in a retail environment. If you want to go in and uh, if you want to purchase whatever you want to purchase, uh, you can do that on the card. And then you can also use that uh, that iTruck pay power uh, that WEX provides to get a lower uh, cost on your fuel to fueling station. So that's what iTruck pay is on the issuing side. It's very simple. It's a, uh, a great product for the brokers to say, hey, iTruck pay, you guys 
fund this broker or fund this carrier for us. Uh, and then that's our responsibility to, to, to move the funds from point A to point B. Uh, that's on the issuing side and the acquiring side through, through Superflow. We also help those uh, entities, businesses, brokers, or carriers that process credit card payments to process those payments at a very competitive low cost uh, compared to what they're receiving in the, in the industry. So we went out and we reviewed other uh, uh, sources that provide merchant accounts for brokers and carriers. And we found that, you know, frankly, their rates are, are pretty high. So that's where we, Mark and I set the bar for, for what we want to, uh, to charge, which is lower in those, those outlets. So, um, you know, it's just a standard merchant account where, uh, you know, you receive your funds uh, next day, as long as they, they're batched out within a certain time, Eastern Standard Time, and they're, they're deposited into your a current business ACH account. And then uh, we service that as well. So um, in addition to all the bells and benefits and everything that Superflow offers, we also offer the iTruck Pay issuing side and the uh, acquiring side, which is the merchant account. So it's basically a, a one-stop solution for for brokers and carriers and it's all serviced within superflow uh so you get that personal touch with any uh questions or concerns you have on a merchant account on the issuing account and also obviously with the superflow crm so we can't make it any easier uh for the transportation industry those on the broker and the carrier side to, to come with us and again back to the point where it's not a it's not a hard sell. It's just communicating and getting, you know, educating those that want to improve the efficiency of their business. Uh, then they should really contact uh, Superflow and, and we can do that. It, I, I couldn't help but think it's the kitchen sink, literally everything. Because even if, okay, you take, there, there are some programs where you can't manage your leads and your customers but you have that but then on top of everything else you have the merchant account and and payment processing piece that is huge because having to search out that solution once you let's say you've got everything else you've, you've got you know you've got your full roadmap uh but you still have to figure out the merchant side that's a pain it's it's it is a pain. it is yeah what do you well, I, I from what we've seen and i've been in the, in the acquiring merchant account industry for almost 20 years now um and on the issuing side as well so what we see when we when we talk to uh, uh people that want to come on board is i just kind of ask them how did you get your account and they just googled it and set up set up an account with uh square or uh, what are some other Square does a lot of market. It comes down to who's doing their yeah, market. Right. It's and it's right. It's kind yeah. of, it's kind of stripe. It's kind of like finding an auto transporter. I don't know who have yeah. I heard of. <laughs> yeah. So in a, an interesting fact on the stripe, uh, there's a reason why the two brothers, the founders in I think the UK or Ireland, were the fastest billionaires ever in the history of the world. And the reason why that is, is because of their merchant fees that they charge. Oh, wow. Now, integration and things like that, I'm not sure. It's a closed loop solution. But uh, back to the point I made before, where we priced our, where we set our bar is based off of Square and Stripe and that three and a half percent or whatever the heck they charge. Uh, we don't charge near that. And it's just as efficient. And it's domestic, obviously, here in the 48 states. So uh, we're sponsored by issuing uh, pro the biggest processors in the country. Uh, and then we help our clients through any, you know, through the whole process, setup, conversion, and then the day-to-day -day activity that they have within their account. Uh, that's on the acquiring side, merchant account, but on the issuing side, iTruck Pay is really what, what we want to be able to offer to our brokers so that they can pay their carriers, pay them quickly and pay them efficiently and uh, the carriers are happy because they're getting paid directly to their card, uh, to their account, and they're able to use that again in retail environments and at the pump. I mean, I, what else can we do to make it easier for for all parties involved? As the, and I'll just want I'll say that yes, that 
no matter no matter how you're getting your money, you want it fast and you want to get most of it. When you feel like you're paying somebody too much money just to get your money, it's infuriating. And if you got a problem with like Square, one of those aggregators, good luck trying to get them on the phone too. Yeah. Midwest, you know, with Nick, I, I can't tell you, you know, if I got a question, I reach out. He's always there. He always responds. He gets it done. So, you know, that that's that's another big, big key is just having that 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 relationship, um, you know, because you don't get that with with a Square or a Stripe. I mean, you, they, they send you to an email and you just got to wait. Um, yep. So, you, you know, that's 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 big for us as a broker, um, just being able to to reach out and talk to someone and and really have that relationship that you don't get, you know, with, with a company like Square and not not to say anything bad about Square. They do what they do and they're good at it. But um, as a broker, it, it's nice having having Nick there and, and, and being able to talk to somebody when we need to talk to somebody. I appreciate from that. my side. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate yeah. That, that, that. The compliment. I mean, that's something we work really hard <clears throat> on doing uh, to separate ourselves from those aggregators. And yes, there are some painful stories um, that I've I've heard from uh, companies that <clears throat> have used, um, you know, other co companies and other uh, verticals that have used Square, and they just, you know, you get sent to a queue and. That's it. I mean, they're, they're an aggregator for a reason. You can Google like what an aggregator merchant account is. It's just basically one housing account with, with millions of other accounts underneath it. So you just fall into a big umbrella of other merchants and there's really no personal touch there. And if there's anything that <clears throat> doesn't follow the strict um, policies of Visa MasterCard, well, good luck. So we work with our clients through those pains, uh, if there are any, and, you know, just the day to day, you know, simple questions too, like, Hey, what happened to this deposit? What, where's this at? Um, you know, that's what, that's what we're here for. That's what our support arms for. So you can get all that through Superflow. Every, all that, all that service is, is managed through, through us. So that's so, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'm Can looking I say at a couple things, Jake. Yeah, please do. I was just say I'm, I was looking at the time as I think everybody is, but go, go. Uh, yeah, please. I just wanted to point out so, that I'm watching it too. First, first off, Nick can help any, any business that wants to take credit cards. It doesn't have to be through the auto transport. It could be any, any freight, any business, any, he can help with any business. The other thing with I truck pay that I wanted to mention is that, the driver initially, as he pulls up to the gas pump and, and sees that the price that is displayed, there's a cash price and a credit price. Using the iTruckPay card, they automatically get the cash price. And that can be a savings up to five to seven cents, depending on what facility they are. Petro Pilot loves five to 10 cent discount per gallon that, for every gallon that's purchased with the iTruckPay card. So you, a, a, a company can save 15 to 17 cents, depending on what, what facility they stopped at, per gallon of fuel. And over a year's time, that is a significant savings. We, we were talking about how one of the great things in life as a consumer, if you're already buying something anyways, you yeah. may as well get a discount. That's right. The only the only time that you don't want the lowest price is auto transport, and you're trying to get a carrier hooked up for it. That is it's hard for Joe to 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 tell his customers. Listen, I know you want the lowest price because you're a consumer, but you're not going to get the same product or the same service. It's not the same TV as you're going from Best Buy to Walmart and you see one lower at Best Buy and it's good for you because you're the consumer. You want the lowest price. Auto transportation, Joe's company does a good job telling the consumer, we can't take you at the lowest price. We don't. We really don't want your order. That's why I think that they have a, a good reputation. Speaking of a good reputation, one of the things that uh, Superflosis or Pro ABD has is Bird Eye, and Bird Eye is a review. And as I was sitting here for Easy Auto, and I get an email for every company that's on Bird Eye and, and reviews, and they got four five star reviews that came in as we were sitting here. And it's that's also part of our system that we do. And 
getting getting reviews for the brokerage and and the, that company. Some I don't know. Maybe a lot of people don't know about that that reviews service that we huge. have, Bird Eye. For it's, sure. Yeah, reviews are is, for us. And, and I don't mean to cut you off, Mark, but you, you, no, it's strong. Go ahead. You pointed out something that that's. I mean, it's extremely important, and we work extremely hard for that that, that online uh, presence and and being. A plus accredited and, and having five out of five stars on this site and this site, you know, because the, the customer, everybody sounds good. Everybody sounds good. And, and, you know, you can talk to a customer and says, man, you sound like the other guy. Well, I can prove it. Can the other guy prove it? And, and, and I can show them, Hey, this is what we're about. Um, and, and that, that, you know, that just breeds more, more business, more referrals, more online presence. So a ABD, does a, a real good with bird eye that's integrated right into the system itself. So it makes it super, super easy, um, you know, for us to get reviews like that. So that's a, that's a good point, Mark. It's interesting how reviews, uh, there are times where a review can literally make or break a transaction. Uh, sure. Ty and I were in Baltimore and we were walking and I was looking for a restaurant and I found two I don't know. I think they were Indian restaurants. Two Indian restaurants. Okay? I could go to either one. They were about similar distance. But one of them had way better Yelp reviews and pictures. Done. And it turned out great. Yeah. yeah. And it I was mean, that fast. That that was it. Like five seconds. Completely changed the transaction. It's 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 just like that. You know, one one bad review is, uh, you know, we calculated as... as 10 orders that you may lose because of that one, one bad review. Yeah. And, you know, uh, again, we do things a little bit different at easy auto ship. We're, we're more of, uh, educating the customer, setting those expectations. So, and, and then, you know, having TAQ along with ABD, um, there's no guessing game, you know, and especially for a newer broker, because the problems that are, that are there, is you know you have a percentage of people that just aren't doing good business and then you have another percentage that nobody talks about it's just inexperienced brokers so they may not be giving good prices not because they don't want to give good prices they don't know how to give good prices they're basically looking on on load board well this guy's listing it for this much so i'll list it for this much but they're not, they're not taking into consideration what the situation is what the locations are what type of vehicle is it? How big is it? Does it have oversized tires? Does it need to go and close? Does it need to go open? How fast does it need to get picked up? And having TAQ, there's no guessing. You know, it's already going to think like the carrier needs to get the job done. It's taking into consideration the location, the type of vehicle, the size of the vehicle, if it runs, if it doesn't run. The look, you know, everything, it ties it all together and says, hey, this is what a driver is going to need to get this vehicle shipped. So once you know you have that, then it's just about educating the customer why that price is that price because we have ABD has a proprietary system that take that thinks like a driver, it takes all those factors into consideration and gives you the price. This is why your price is that price. And once if you explain it correctly, then you hear, oh, well, that makes sense. Because you can't argue logic. And if you make sense then it just is what it is. That's what it boils down to. But TAQ is extremely good for that. You know, Metro to Metro, that's easy stuff. It's right. going to cost, you know, $800 to go from Miami to San Francisco. Everybody knows that. But you got Chillicothe, Ohio to Savannah, Georgia, or, you know. Albany, McAllen, Georgia. McAllen, Texas. Tifton, Georgia. What am I going to do now? Well, <laughs> you know, but that's that's how TAQ is. I mean, it, they, they spent years perfecting it. And, and, you know, and it gets updated on a monthly on a monthly basis, you know, just based, based off the trend. Weekly or daily. Updated weekly or daily. Weekly or, or, or daily. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, we, you know, so it's, 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 always, up on it. update, it's always good. And, and you can add. You know, if the customer has two vehicles, three vehicles, four, up to 10 vehicles at a time, it'll calculate that. It'll give you the discount. 
you know, of how much to take off because you have three or four cars. You know, it calculates all those things so you don't have to say, well, Mr. Customer, it's going to cost you, uh, I don't know, $900. Sounds good to me. And then, you know, then you got problems. So, you know, take the guessing game out of it. Use an ABD, TAQ, it's simple. It keeps it organized. It's going to price it for you. It's going to give the carrier what he needs. It's going to give you what you want to make some money. And that, that's the end game, really. Amazing testimonial. You heard it right here on Auto Transport Intel. Hey, it's easy when it's true, Jay. Don't you love that? <laughs> <laughs> that's cool thanks, that's right man well i want to thank you guys so much for your time your contribution your information and your patience um it is now we're at uh two hours and 20 minutes total running time we're running into we're, this thing's almost as long as the irishman yeah right. <laughs> i gotta get up to work here <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> exactly. I, I need to let you guys go, but I, I, I really do appreciate it. And uh, please um, give some, put some period on this long sentence, please. Time is money. Let's Sorry, go. I had a malfunction. I had a malfunction with the camera. I think my camera timed out. So okay, that uh, happens. Sorry that happened. It's a live show. Uh, yeah, you work, work through it nicely. Um, Nick, Joe, thanks for coming on probably talk to you guys tomorrow i think gary's question about multi-users i was looking in the live chat um he's going to contact us we have solutions for him he wants to put agents on and we have a, uh, mm. a good solution for that for him so give us a call tomorrow gary cool yeah I, that makes sense and that is a good question because he's thinking growth and that's the whole right that's what we're all working towards is building our businesses and and on that note uh, mark thank you for building a system that allows whatever type of business we are carrier broker dealer shipper to help us grow our businesses to do more transactions in the same amount of time you're welcome thank you for uh, helping us get the word out we appreciate it we're looking forward to uh getting everybody on using the tools that they need to make their business better. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'll be in touch with you. Let me know how I can help. Oh, before you go, hey, what's the best way to get a hold of you, Joe? What's a good email or phone number if anybody has any questions for you? All is toll free. It's 888-687-3243. 888-687-3243. That's easy auto ship. I'm putting that in the live chat. 888-687-3243. Easy auto ship. That's it. Uh, Nick, what do you guys have a like a catch-all info line or um our our national line is 184 get rates. 184 <laughs> get rates. Yeah. For and me. then obviously yeah. you can call it a super flow and connect all of it together as well. Um, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Cause the main is super flow. What's your catch all? Is it support or what's the 800 number? What's a good look? Yeah. Uh, support support at superflowsystems.com. No W and flow F L O superflow support systems. at superflowsystems.com. Right. No W in flow superflowsystems.com i put it in the live chat so i encourage anybody who's watching this live or watching it later on demand if you have questions if their information's there in the live chat i will also put it in the video description it takes me about 24 hours to get that all lined up and on that note i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much tonight it was awesome good night. Right, guys. It's been thank good you night, Jay. thank you <laughs> good night all right good night peace out guys Hi. late all right, and I'm ending the meeting, and the meeting is over, and now I got to go back into, let's see here, let's go ahead and change this camera back, and now we are, we're, we're leaving the atmosphere, we're dropping back towards Earth, we can feel our final descent, we put our tray tables back in their upright position, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for spending another Tuesday night with me. I'm Jay at Auto Transport Intel. You know I'm here every Tuesday night. This is the Car Shipping Business Channel, and I'm proud to deliver on that promise. We're going to talk about being a carrier, being a broker, being a shipper. We're going to talk about technologies. We're going to talk about business models. That all happens here on Auto Transport Intel. Uh, and I did tell you that, um, let's do, let's go to, let's just pull that up. I did tell you that we're going to have Joe from Easy Auto Ship on in February. Excited about that. Just lock that in today. If you want to put together a show and be on Auto Transport Intel, send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. I want to let you know next week we're going to have Ernest Dandridge of Ernest Dandridge Carrier Design Services. He is going to be on the show. This is a very niche interest show, but he is an expert in auto transport trailer design and customization. Man, if you are interested in customization, engineering, design, open and closed variation of trailer, you are going to love this show. We're going to really dive into a lot of information and he's going to tell you more about what he is up to and all about. So again, I want to thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you spending the night with me. I do appreciate it. I'm here every Tuesday night. You can find me on social media uh, on the days in between. And I'm going to uh, work on a video edit. Hope to get something out. Um, let me know what I can do for you, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And without further ado, I'm going to run the car hauler. Be safe, stay warm, and I'll see you next Tuesday night. Thank you so much. Thank you.